So I finally decided to learn Go in 2025. I'm planning to uh, do this uh, from quite some time now, but I've been getting away with myself. I had Python in my arsenal and that was okay for pretty much every automation tool utility that I was writing. But now I think uh, or I feel that the time has come that you know I should learn Go. So in this video, I'm going to share why I am learning Go and what are some of the benefits that I'm seeing and how actually I'm planning to learn Go. So if you are also in the cloud and DevOps space and you are figuring out which language to learn and if you're planning to learn Go, so this video is for you. So if you have been uh, seeing my videos, I talk a lot about Kubernetes and its space, automation, etc. So my day to day uh, revolves around Kubernetes and if you look at Kubernetes, it itself is written in Go. So if you have to add your own functionalities or something in Kubernetes, we call them operators. So you can do it in Python or any other language of your choice. But if you write it in Go, then it would be much more efficient and performant. So that is one reason that I'm choosing Go because I want to dive deeper into you know some of the existing operators that are out there and most of them are in Go given the Go's performance, etc. That's why I wanted to dive deeper into, you know, how they are written and, uh, you know, I wanted to contribute and, you know, write my own operators whenever the need arise. So that's one of the reason. But if you look at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation landscape in general, so basically CNCF landscape, for you, those of you who don't know, it's like a bunch of open source tool for the cloud computing uh, space. So in that space, if you look, most of the tools, if not all, are written in Go. For example, one of my favorite tools, Argo CD for continuous delivery to Kubernetes is written in Go. Open Policy Agent is written in Go right so if you want to just understand how these tools work in the back end if you want to contribute to these tools which is a long time aspiration of mine which is to contribute to open source you have to know go right so for that reason i am learning go because i am seeing a lot of innovation happening in the cloud native computing foundation landscape with a lot of tools coming in a lot of features and how they are supporting the kubernetes ecosystem so i just want to be uh, you know the part of it and then i just want to contribute to the open source because uh, recently I was in KubeCon and I saw that, uh, you know, how innovative solutions are being created in the entire CNCF landscape. So that's another reason uh, why I'm learning Go. Now, those two are, you know, some of the practical reasons. Now, if you're planning to learn your first language as Go and you want to find incentive, right? So let me give you a couple of uh, incentive for you to learn Go, right? So basically, if you look at any survey, right? So maybe GitHub survey or uh, Stack Overflow or developer survey, you'll see Go to be consistently in the top 10. And a lot of projects are in Go. So if you look at this one, and I've sought this by pull request, you can see that, you know, Go consistently is in the top five, right? So it makes sense that, you know, if you learn Go, there are a lot of ample opportunities out there and you can definitely benefit from learning Go. So that's from the, you know, uh, the other side. But if you want to build any side project or something maybe a utility or any kind of automation that you want to do i think go is the perfect fit right because it is you know uh, compiled uh, unlike other interpreted languages like python so it's very fast right and it is very performant it's very resource efficient and how it handles concurrency etc so this is just one graph that i found where in this particular blog the author just you know did some tests where they sent thousand concurrent requests and you can see go is the clear winner if you compare it with javascript and python so go definitely is very performant compared to interpreted languages like python so definitely that is one of the reason and uh, i'm building a lot of uh, tools and all those things so it does make sense to you know learn other language go and have the two languages so that whenever you might require that scale performance and resource optimization you can go with go and wherever you want to do something quick and uh, you know you want to achieve something very fast etc i can go any day with python where there are a lot of libraries available you don't have to reinvent the wheel most of the times so that will definitely give me the edge as a devops engineer now coming to how i am planning to do it right so my personal style of learning is start everything from scratch and basics so i will cover all the fundamentals of go first and i found this very good course on udemy and i have already used stephen's courses before for you know docker kubernetes so i found this one he has also developed on go so i'll just use this to just cover the basics and then i will use this go by example where there are a lot of go examples then i'll do 
some sample projects and then maybe I'll read the code of the open source uh, projects that are out there and then see how they are developed and what are some of the patterns there, etc. And then maybe contribute back to them. That's how I'm planning to learn it in the next uh, three to four months. So that will be my plan. Now, as I go along, I'll also be documenting my journey so that, you know, whoever maybe comes after six months to this channel, they can just go through whatever I went through as my learning materials and they can just go through it and then see, okay, how I learned Go. I'll be documenting it and then I'll be sharing the progress on this channel, you know, on my uh, website, etc. You can check out the challenges that I face, some of the insights that I might have on that channel here. So that's, that's what I wanted to cover in this particular video. But if you are also planning to learn Go, and uh, you know if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below so share this video with your friends as well who might be interested in this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if you want to see more content on devops cloud computing in general how the tech space is evolving that's it from my side thank you so much for watching until then you get to live make the most out of it